Hey everyone, this is Point Shooter. Today I'm reviewing the Benchmade Benchmite 2 model 10610. This is an ultra small uh, OS 8 steel McHenry Williams design that features the levitator lock. This is one of my former EDC knives that was carried on my key ring. Uh, you've seen several others such as the Swiss Army Classic and my current uh, key ring carry the Squirt PS4 by Leatherman. I got this knife uh, over the summer and it rode on my key ring uh, very uh, much of the time probably for the last four or five months. It's a light easy to open knife uh, once you get it properly adjusted and it was one of my favorite uh, ultra compact keychain knives. The levitator lock is very unique and this is actually my first knife that features the levitator lock. What you do is you depress the back of the handle and open the blade. This is a Benchmade Red Class knife. It's unfortunately now discontinued, but you can still find it on a lot of uh, online sites. I actually got mine through eBay. The blade length is 1.92 inches, so it's just under 2 inches for those of you who live in areas where you have restrictions. Uh, it is made of all state steel, which is not my favorite choice. Uh, it is not the most rust resistant, and I do but I do find that it holds a decent edge, uh, although I do have to sharpen it frequently. One of the disadvantages of this knife is it's not easy to one hand, uh, open one-handed. From the start, the knife is very stiff. And, but as you can see with mine, with time and with oil, uh, you're able to get the knife to pretty much open by itself. And you can even learn how to flick it open. Uh, some guys have said that you should um, take the knife back upside down and open it that way. That's one way to open it. I prefer to just, uh, by opening and closing it repeatedly, get it so that the washers are worn down enough that you can just very easily flip it open. One of the nice things about this knife is that it weighs less than two ounces. It is extremely lightweight and extremely thin. As you can see, it's under a quarter of an inch thick, right around there. One of the things about it that I did notice was that the more that I carried it, uh, the more often I used it. As you can see, there's, there's some wear on the blade. Uh, not a lot, but I found that a lot of times if I had my keys in my hand as I was coming inside from getting the mail that I would just automatically open my mail with this rather than pulling out my much loved, previously reviewed Benchmade Mini Griptilian. One of the things that I do enjoy about this knife is the ability to carry it on a keychain using a small clip such as this. The lanyard hole on the back is uh, threaded that you could put hollowed out 550 cord through it, uh, pretty much anything you like, or you could use a larger key ring as well. Overall for um, about $30, sometimes $40 depending on where you go, these are um, great gifts and one of the nice things about them is that they're engravable. I don't have mine engraved, but uh, if I was going to get this as a gift for someone, which I might, uh, this would be a knife that you could engrave a special message. Congratulations, happy graduation, anything like that. Uh, this would make a swell gift for anyone who's maybe not a knife person, but uh, could use a keychain knife. Overall length um, is about uh, just about three and a quarter inches, three and three quarter inches, just under four inches total. Uh, what I do like about this levitator lock is that it's very solid when it's open. What happens is, as you can see in the handle, this uh, pivot engages in the blade, and by releasing it, it allows the blade to open. Once closed, you have two things locking the blade in. I'm going to use the mini griptilian as a pointer. You have this pivot point, this uh, pivot back here, and you also have the stop bar on the front of the knife, and that prevents any side, to, really up and down or side to side wiggle. Mine is adjusted a little bit loose for speed of opening, so you have a little bit of blade play, but you can tighten that down very tight, and you'll have almost none. I'm a big fan of the levitator lock design, but it does essentially make this a two-hand opening knife, unless you really uh, lube yours up and get it so that it opens more swiftly. I would be um, happy to see a full-size version of this knife, perhaps with a uh, two and three-quarter inch or maybe a three-inch blade, although Benchmade has discontinued this and their, uh, their levitator lock seems to be the least common, the least popular lock. Uh, I am a fan of this knife and for the price you really can't beat it. Uh, it does give you a lot more cutting power than a Swiss Army Classic, which has a similar length blade, a little bit smaller, but uh, for the size it's the uh, Benchmade really blows it away. It unfortunately is just a knife, so one thing you'll have to remember is 
if you're going to carry this as an EDC blade, you're not going to have scissors or uh, a file or screwdrivers, you're just going to have a blade. This could serve as an EDC knife, and for a short period of time, that's what I carried. Uh, I was in an area where I didn't want to carry a large folding knife in my pocket, so I just EDC'd this. And I certainly enjoyed it in that role, used it very frequently. Uh, it has been retired from my EDC rotation, replaced by the Squirt PS4, um, mostly for the reason that the Squirt PS4 gives me a lot more tools, and I always have an EDC knife such as my Mini Grip Tillion on me. The Aus 8 steel is able to take a very good edge, as I mentioned, but it is less rust resistant than 154CM. Uh, I'd rated above 420HC steel, which is what's in the Leatherman products, but at the same point, uh, you have to keep this blade well oiled up. I haven't taken it in any saltwater environments, but I would imagine that over time you could get rust on the blade. So overall, if you're looking for a great gift for someone that's person uh, that you can personalize with a, a message or an engraving, the Benchmade Benchmite 2 is a great knife and one that I'd highly recommend. Hope you enjoyed this review and I hope you found it helpful. This is Point Shooter. Uh, keep watching for more reviews. Take care. Bye.